everyone, welcome back to Guitar Image YouTube channel. All right, today we're going to continue on with the Worship Tutorials Tone Matching Presets. Okay, we're going to take a look at their latest three presets, which is the Tone King Imperial MK2, okay, and this 1963 Fender Bassman, okay, and using a 212, and then a Supro Thunderbolt uh, mid 60s with a 15 inch uh, Jensen speaker. I believe it's a one one by 15. Okay, so uh, generally they all uses different preamps in the in the in the in the helix itself. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do is again we're gonna play through the different snapshots and then just playing them side by side, so that you have a better understanding of the tones that's coming from these presets and whether these are the tones that you're looking for. All right, so we're gonna start off with uh, let me just pull it out. We're gonna start off with the Tone King Imperial. Okay. <coughs> So this is how it sounds like clean snapshot. Okay, the fender basement. Okay, all this sounds you're hearing are basically uh, everything that's untouched is exactly how the preset is when I downloaded it. Only the Supro, I, uh, I increased the volume on the IR just by 1 or 2 dB, just to try to balance up the patch a little bit. Uh, but you can hear that characteristically all three are very different, right? Uh, the Supro has a very uh, deep kind of sound, okay, uh, like a lot of body, but it doesn't have a lot of air. Okay, whereas the basement have a lot more air because I think it's 212. Okay, you can hear that there's a little bit more going on. Uh, and the Tone King Imperial is a little bit more, have a more focused type of uh, mid-range. Okay, so uh, they are very, very different in terms of characteristics. But hey, that's the fun part, right? Choosing a M uh, that you really like and then playing around with it. Okay, so now we move on to the drive snapshot. So let's try the dive drive snapshot of the Tone King Imperial. Okay, so the Tone King Imperial basically adds on a Timmy, the Supro as well, but the basement is going for a hair apparent. So uh, both, again, they are different ODs, okay, uh, but generally the characters of the M does uh, come out a little bit more, right? So let's try one more time Tone King Imperial, let's do some line. <laughs> Supro Okay, so now back to the Tone King Imperial Let's try the Drive Plus snapshot uh, Let's kick on the bridge pickup and Let's do some uh, simple power chord Basement. 
Okay, so you can hear right now the Supro to me is a little bit dark. Uh, probably need to increase the high frequencies a little bit more uh, on this patch. Uh, but that's how it is stock, so it's going to keep it that way. Alright, so let's uh, let's try the Praise and Worship lead now. Okay, so back to the Tone King Imperial. <laughs> Time Tone King Imperial again. Again, it's dark and it's definitely less gainy as compared to the other two patches. Okay, so all these parameters can be adjusted. Uh, so don't just throw the patch away or find it. You can do your uh, own permutations or own changes as well. Alright, so let's move on. Uh, let's try ambient clean now. Okay, so this is the Tone King Imperial on ambient clean. Let's go back to, let's go to the middle pickup and let's try something. <laughs> Supro. Okay, so this is now the tremolo clean. Okay, so the basement doesn't have a tremolo clean, so we're going to skip that. Supro tremolo clean now. King now on the ambient mode. Okay, basement. 
Just ambient mode. Try the swell patches now. Okay, basement. Supro. Right, so one last thing about the basement is that they added a fuss, uh, fuss sound in. So let's check it out. <laughs> So that was the uh, 63 basement fuzz. Quite a nice, nice sound. Uh, nice, very playable sound. Okay, so uh, that's a very quick comparison between the three different presets. Okay, uh, that's again no better or worse uh, sound. Is uh, back to what sounds you prefer. Okay, so again the Tone King Imperial has a, a more directed sound. Okay, a bit smaller. Uh, because of the, I think it's a, it's a one. There's only one speaker, so it's a, you can hear it's a little bit more boxed up. Uh, the basement has a very nice, uh, more airy kind of sound because it's a, it's a two twelve, and uh, it's a little bit on the bassier side. Okay, where and the Supro on uh, the last one. Okay, it's it's they're generally darker. Uh, so I, I would suggest to bring out a little bit of the highs. Okay, and also the volume is a bit softer, so you can you can increase the volume as well. But having said that, all three all three presets they do sound nice in their own certain ways, and uh, do explore them. Okay, if you have the tone pass, okay, please go and download the patches and have fun with them again and understand uh, this M this M's character because not everyone it's uh, have the privilege to try every M's. Uh, that's available, right? So I think this actually give us a good idea of how this brand of M actually sound like, especially the boutique ones or the vintage ones. It, it just gives you a good, uh, good understanding of how how different amps actually sound like. Okay, and then do try this different sounds in in your praise and worship set, and find tones that 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 uh, fits well in in your mix as well. Okay, so if you do like this kind of video, do give us a good thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the latest videos. Okay, take care. God bless. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.